what's up guys so for today's video um it is going to be a makeup tutorial all on this look that i am wearing right now but i do have something to say before you know i you know get going with this tutorial is that this week i reached 100 subscribers and I could not tell you how happy I was. I think it was uh, sun last Sunday that I hit the 100 mark. And I know it may not be a lot, you know, compared to some other YouTubers out there. But honestly, you have no idea how much this means to me how thankful I am to you all of my you know faithful subscribers everyone that's been watching since day one since my very first video all I can say is thank you thank you for all your um, support and for you know just uh, you know keep following me supporting me that really really means a lot to me anyway uh, before I get all emotional <laughs> I am just going to go ahead and talk about this eyeshadow really quick that I used um, on my eyes as you can see it is such a beautiful shadow that I have been meaning to use for quite some time now and of course it is by Lancome and it, it is from their color design eyeshadow line and the shade is called pose and it has a metallic finish and you can see it you know right here you know as soon as you look at it how beautiful and vibrant it is look at that just with like one swirl of my finger around it you can just see the pigmentation on this thing it's like oh lord child look at that <laughs> it is just so beautiful on its own but of course I wanted to kind of enhance it even more and I used a little bit of MAC fix plus with it that you will see in the tutorial so yeah um once again thank you so much to all of you uh, that have been watching and thank you for watching this video and if you do like this tutorial um just don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys later we're gonna start off by priming with my favorites and I'm gonna use sticky tape to have a nice sharp clean edge and I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer and my fluffy brush and I'm going to just put that on my crease as a transition shade. And now time for the star of the show, which is this amazing eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply it by applying some MAC Fix Plus onto my Morphe Flat Shader Brush. And oh my god, like look at how beautiful this eyeshadow just glides on the eyelid. Oh girl, look at that. It is just, it's just a beautiful shadow to work with. It blends like a dream. And of course, as always, we can never forget about blending. Blending is so important in order to get that really awesome smoky eye. And then moving on to my Naked Basics um, palette and using the darkest shade, which is a black. It's called Crave, and I'm going to use my Sigma pencil brush. And with this shade, I am just going to kind of create like a kind of like a wing with my uh, brush. Um, I'm not really, it's not really going to be like super dramatic, but it's just kind of, like I said, kind of just kind of like fake a wing pretty much with that shade. And then I'm going to take the brown shade called Faint from that same palette and just a dome brush and I'm just going to kind of apply it above that black one to kind of just blend the two together. And of course, if need be, you can always go back to the black. And if you want it a little more intense, just go back to it and intensify it. And I wanted mine even more noticeable. So I went back to my post shadow and I just kind of retouched my lids. And then I blended. And then with that soft shade called Naked 2, I just kind of went over the crease to kind of get rid of the harsh lines. Moving on to our face, I'm going to prime with my La Base Pro, just to apply that kind of like on my T-zone and a little on my cheeks, which are my oily areas. And we are going to move on to foundation with my Holy Grail, which is my Lancome 24-hour foundation. I just love how natural it is. It is sweat-proof. I swear this foundation could be like bulletproof. I kid you not. <laughs> 
And I'm going to go ahead and apply that with my damp beauty blender, which is my favorite way because I just love how even it gets it all over your face. And for my concealer, I'm using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 under my eyes to conceal any dark circles. And I'm going to use the pointed end of my beauty blender to blend that in. And to set my concealer, I am going to be using this e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder under my eyes with my Sigma F86 Kabuki brush. And to set the rest of my face, I am going to use my Lancome Loose Translucent Powder in the shade 100 with this Bare Minerals Powder Brush. And I just love this powder because it literally keeps me matte all day. And I'm going to use my NYC Bronzer and I'm going to contour my forehead and the hollows of my cheeks. Moving on to brows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown and I'm going to set my brows with my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. Then I'm just going to go in with a liquid liner and I'm just going to create a wing. Not too dramatic, but you know, you want to have a little wing up in there, like to make it look sassy <laughs> and just you know line your lash line and with a black pencil liner just line your lower water lines for my mascara I'm going to use my Lancome Hypnos Drama which is just the perfect mascara for this look because it gives you the perfect amount of volume at the root and length at the tip so it is just the perfect 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 mascara for this look then I'm going to take my flat definer brush and that black shadow called Crave and I'm just going to um, just define my lower lash line and make it a bit more smoky. Going in again in the lower lash line but now with a pencil brush and the shade Faint which is a dark brown, I'm just going to kind of smudge it, um, like smudge the black so it looks a little um, more blended and then I'm going to go in with the uh, shadow called Pose with my flat shader brush and like the inner corner to just kind of brighten it up. And I'm going to go in with the same mascara for my lower lashes of course and for blush I'm going to be using a Lancome blush in a plum I just love this blush so much and of course I'm going to highlight my brow bone with my Mary Luminizer highlighter and the inner corners of my eyes as well as my cupid's bow and then also the my cheekbones and I swear I love this highlighter oh girl yeah like seriously this is my favorite highlighter it is life for me and for my lipstick, I'm just going to finish it off with Max Creme de Nude Lipstick. And over top of that lipstick, I am going to be using this Gloss in Love by Lancome. It's in the shade 230. It doesn't really have a name, not that I remember. But yeah, it's in the shade 230 and it is just perfect because the lipstick was a little too nude for me. So this just perfects it. And after this, of course, you are finished with this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you and bye-bye.